Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel, and we continue the look at the Settings app in Windows 10, May and November 2019 update, because they are pretty much the same. Uh, some of these settings, once again, are available maybe for other versions of Windows 10, but sometimes they might have changed if you are not on the versions we're actually looking at. So we're going to take a look at tablet mode in this uh, video. So if you go into your settings app, either by the bottom right with the uh, quick actions or on the bottom left, go into the settings gear. And here you'll go into system. And on the left side, you have tablet mode. What is tablet mode? Well, it is made for specific hardware. If you have a Surface tablet or if you have a laptop that's a two-in-one that can actually fold and switch into a, a tablet or maybe the screen detaches and becomes a tablet, and you have a touch screen, well, tablet mode is available. The reason for tablet mode is that the desktop mode is not really fit for any touch-oriented device. So what happens is often the buttons are too small or they're not working like we want, and touch is not necessarily the best in that situation. So, of course, that means tablet mode is available. Now, by default, the computer actually recognizes your hardware and switches depending on what you do. So it's automatic. But you can, of course, go to the tops. And the first uh, item is when I sign in, you can choose tablet mode or desktop mode automatically, which means it will stay in that mode. And if you are use the appropriate mode, it will, of course, have the possibility to ask you before switching or switch without asking or just don't do anything without asking. So you have all of these options available. And finally, you have hide app icons on the taskbar and tablet mode. Automatically hide the taskbar and tablet mode. These are available if you do not wish to see the uh, icons in tablet um, mode and the uh, taskbar. Of course, um, this is mostly for any touch devices that becomes a tablet. Uh, but in some cases, you might want to use it in some laptops that have touch screens, for example. It could be a useful um, way of using your PC also. It depends on the device that you have, uh, basically. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.